So again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, retrieving her glasses, making you stare at a 16 by 20 inch canvas, and hoping I can do something fairly simple. Starting with covering my canvas with a layer of white paint and using my OXO omelet turning spatula that you can find on the Amazon link under Show More on the Linktree link, where all the links are. Pardon that weird noise in the background. That's my dog digging up whatever's behind the shed that I'm working by to see if he can catch whatever might be happen, happen to living, might be living there. So let's hope it's not the bunny. And if it's something else, so be it. But I wish he was not there. <laughs> He's very distracting, sorry. I often cannot see the difference between white canvas and white can and white paint, so I'm pretty happy that this spatula will show me whatever it is. It just ran behind me. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, so long as I don't have pants on, it's going to run up my leg, whatever it is. That's weird. All right, so I have a fairly heavy layer of paint, and that's not a bad thing. And I think what I want to do is throw that spatula in the bucket, and I want to take... my bottles of paint and just draw a couple of spa spirals. A couple few. Just as a guide. Because what I think I'm going to do right now is take some of my favorite colors and use this shovel that you can see over here, hopefully. And I'm going to grab some of my... Whoa! Some turquoise from uh, Color Shifting from Folk Art. I'm just going to put some favorite colors in here, and I need a different container to rest that in. So I'm going to use one of my cottage cheese lids. So it a, holds a little more paint than I've got here. I can't put a tremendous amount in there, so I guess I'm going to give up pretty quickly. I think I'm going to add some of my color shifting purple flash, since I actually found a way to get some more of it today. Alright, so I'm going to turn this around. What else am I going to put in there? Something. A little more blue, I think. Alright. So I've never done this before exactly. And I want to stir that paint up a little bit. What else do I want to put in there? You know I want to put something else in there. And it, if it's open, I can. And if it's not, I can't. Kind of want some, whoops. <laughs> kind of want some gold. I'm going to stir that through again. And then I'm just going to Dribble it and stop it with my finger. I'm going to grab an edge catcher that I can pour my extra paint onto because I'm basically just practicing this for the first time. That looks like it's going to go all the way over. And I am going to let it travel up again. I may wind up putting some green in there. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm just going to do it again. And this time I'm going to try and integrate it a little bit. I kind of like those random odd patterns. And I like the idea that I can make this go over the end and cover. Just join that other line right up. There's GAC 800 in all of my paint. So what that means is it won't crack when it's heavy. And I can have all kinds of strange 
affectations. Cool. I like that. Let's do it some more. That's the blunt end of my skewer. Let's do it everywhere because I'm going to keep going. Just the blunt end of my skewer. Pulling them out. Let's see if I can keep this paint flowing over the edge a little bit. I could probably tip it, but I think I've actually got some extra paint in my shovel. That I can utilize, and I'm right. So that's it so far so good. Now, I think what I like is the idea of using some pink that's not the same pink that was in there. I'm grabbing some Bahama Blue, which is from Anita's. Throwing some of that in there. I did want some of my white metallic from Anita's, so I'm going to throw some of that in there. And the neon pink from Artist Loft. And I think some of Magenta from Golden. And what else, what else, what else, what else? Let's grab some blue, some more blue. Where is there's blue, there's purple. I haven't put any red in there, just magenta. Okay, well, there we go. We're getting somewhere now, sort of, kind of. And maybe I'll just have enough left for two of these, but I kind of doubt it. So I just put it all in the shovel and ran my skewer through it really carefully. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna stop way short of where I want to. And this one I'm going up and down, which only leaves me one left. But so long as my paint's not in the way. I'm going to touch that skewer into that paint and drag it sideways. And it will drag down. This is kind of fun. Just encouraging some paint to flow with my finger. This is really similar in some ways to something I recently did, but that's okay. It means I can also utilize any extra paint and flow it down to cover the bottom. I can dip in. I don't want too much brown. So I've got two more to go and I'm liking them very much. I'm just going to pretend these are little shoots. Not sure I like that. <laughs> so I'll just grab a little bit of paint from my shovel. And I'll probably put some green in there. Maybe now would be a good time. Maybe if it came out, it'd be even more impressive. So I'm just going to take the schmutz that's on my skewer already and let it become part of that green configuration. There we go. I think I'm going to do the same thing as I go right along. Let that paint roll right over the edge. Just let everything do its own thing. I'm going to grab a bunch of that magenta this time. I love that magenta. Some of the pink, which is an iridescent. You could use iridescent Pearl Fine from Golden and add it into your paint colors if you wanted to. 
I've got some purple. It's also got some uh, some iridescent quality to it or metallic. I'm going to do just what I did again. kind of want some yellow in there. I don't think any green would hurt, so I'm going to give it to it. This is going to follow my mark. Doesn't have to be all the way up. But if it is, it's okay. I got one more to fill in. This one I kind of want to go sideways, but I'm not sure I can get away with it. Just using that skewer like the tool that it is. I know I'm going to wish I had something in my top, in my background, but it's never too late for dots. I can always dot. I got a little tiny piece of something I don't want in there. Making my line odd, which means I'm going to have to make that a much wider piece of pretend foliage. I like that. I love running the skewer up and down, I gotta say. If you go slowly, you're gonna get something cool. I'm gonna steal some paint from this blue area. Let it go right over. Same for the green. Getting some little cells too. Anytime I've got an abundance of paint on that skewer, I can just run it up. Make sure you're trailing something. I want to steal some paint. Put it right in there. I'm going to steal some paint from over here too, but it's really pretty colors in there. Alright, so I'm actually getting someplace pretty cool. But I've got one more to do, and I'm not sure I want to do that much to it, to tell you the truth. So I'm just going to take my favorite folk art color shifting purple flash. And what else? Maybe a little more red. If it'll come out. Please come out. Please come out. Please don't explode. I got a drop. <laughs> that is a very unsatisfying feeling. At least it didn't spew onto the... Why do I want to put that green in there? I guess, because it'd be cool. So I've got some blue. I want some lighter blue. I think some more of that uh, Bahama Blue would be good. I like the purple. That's cool, because I like dots. And where there's a dot, there are usually more dots where I'm concerned. So 
So I'm just going to keep using the nice puddles of beautiful colored paint that I've got. Dragging up, dragging down, dragging all around the town. So I want to steal some more paint. But if I use my skewer, I'll be able to. Got some great colors going on here. I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures, which means it won't crack when it's left heavy, which is particularly good right at the moment, because it's pretty heavy. Yes, I just took that little piece of negative space out of there. I want some more green. doesn't have to be pure. I know I'm being pretty quiet. Alright, so I've got two minutes to tell you guys. I do sell my artwork and I appreciate it when you buy it because it helps buy the art supplies that I need to keep doing this. So thank you very much to everybody who's done that. And while I'm at it, thank you to everybody who's contributed by leaving me wonderful comments as well. If anybody does happen to be looking for a way to contribute, PayPal and Patreon icons are not just on the channel header, they're on the link tree link below show more underneath the video. I love everything that combines with that green, I gotta say. And I love what my skewer does for me. It just I just have such a good time playing with it. Dragon colors wherever I want to go. I kind of want to steal some more. You guys are going to be gone soon. Check for Teespring underneath the video if you want to look for all of our print leggings and t-shirts. Whenever you shop it helps me out. Which reminds me, the Amazon link is the same. If it doesn't, it doesn't cost you any extra to shop there, and I really appreciate it. I am inclined to take my dots. Well, I'm still here, and you're still here. Put a little more of that. purple flash right in there. And even if you're gone, I'll probably do that to all of them. Remind me of uh, little Mohawks for some reason. Alright, I love you guys. There's uh, 86,600 and uh, 86,700 and some odd subscribed. You might want to check Phoenix Rising for Syllabats L Art if you're looking for something that doesn't have a commercial on it because I'm still with, I'm still commercial free over there for the moment. I might make a few adjustments but I don't think there's going to be that many of them. I really appreciate everything you guys do for me, i got to tell you what. I like adding the odd little extra strange, doesn't look like everything else, anomalous little organic thing. I know I'm having too much fun because I'm not talking to you guys nearly enough, but I love you all. And I hope you come again tomorrow. Look on the community board or Facebook group Expression Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for tomorrow's video. And I hope I got to turn this around for you guys in time for you to see most of it. Whatever I do to it after you're gone won't be much. I might put some paint down on the edges where you can't see it anyway by dipping my